Good morning from Universal Orlando Resort. We are here today because, well, one, we haven't been here in a while, and two, uh, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure is very close to opening, so I'm excited to see if there's anything that's changed. Maybe they took the walls down? I don't know. We're gonna go back there and have a look. Also, before the end of this video, we will make our way over to Endless Summer Resort and have a look at the progress there because I believe they are very close to opening. Let's head inside and see what we can find. All right, first things first, let's head into the Universal Studios store and see what kind of new merchandise we can find. So the first thing that we see are these Love is Universal shirts for Pride Month, and this is $30. And if you look down here, it says, through October, 10% of the proceeds from all Love is Universal merchandise will benefit the Universal Orlando Foundation and will be donated to the Zebra Coalition's mission to support the inspire local LGBTQ youth. So they've got a lot of stuff here. Like you got this $24 hat, a mug here for $13. Got a Tervis tumbler. You guys know I love Tervis tumblers for $25. What else we got? Oh, we got a tank top over here for $27. We got Christmas ornaments It's for $10. This looks like a light up pin of some kind. I can't actually see a price on this one. We've got a regular pin here for $7. We got a keychain for $7. We got some magnets for 12. Bumper stickers for $10. Oh, a phone case here for $30. Some socks for 18. And then a pass holder lanyard. They're not necessarily a pass holder lanyard, but it's just a lanyard. And this is, I don't know how much this is. Okay, so I found a rack of lanyards and they say that they're $10 and the Love is Universal one is directly underneath that sign. Did I ever show you guys these Universal Studios Spirit jerseys? These are only $50. They're a little bit lighter material than the ones at Disney. These are more like a long sleeve shirt than the ones at Disney are like a sweater or a sweatshirt. Got some Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure merch, which I think I already showed you guys the shirt and the backpack and stuff. And we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. But something that I don't think that I found before was this phone case for $30. And this one's only for a iPhone 6, 7, or 8. I don't see any X's or XS Max or anything like that. Oh, is this a pin too? I don't think I've seen this pin before. This is $8. And then for $8, you have a keychain version of that pin. And then I think everything else, oh, I don't know if I've seen this Tervis before. $25 for Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. And then I think this is a magnet. Yeah, definitely a magnet. Same design as the pin for $7. I will admit, there are not very many people here right now. I wonder what the wait time, let's go check the wait time for Rip Ride Rocket, because I think that that'll be a good feeling for how busy it is here. We can also check on Despicable Me as well. Oh yeah, after getting up here, it's only a five minute wait for Rip Ride Rocket. Wow, I thought today was gonna be super busy, but then in contrast to that, Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is at a 60 minute wait. This one's just always long, I guess because it's the first ride in the park and people love minions. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys what date it is. It is Sunday. June 2nd, so that's why I thought it was gonna be busy today because it is the weekend. It's also around 11.45 and it's 87 degrees outside right now. So it is a little bit cooler than the last time that we were out in Orlando, but it's still very hot. One thing that I haven't seen yet is they have a daytime show here with the fountains. This is the Cinematic Spectacular and they do it sometimes during the day. I have no idea when or why they do it, but hopefully one day we'll get to see it. Right now it's not happening. A minute, guys. Are you guys drummers or nope. something? Jump. Yeah, kind of. We've been practicing the beat on America's Got Talent. Oh. Yeah, man, me too. And I'm working on the beat for the show. I got some wires. Yeah. yeah I got some wood. Oh. And it sounds good. Check it out. Well, this is new. They got a wall up, walling off Bruce the Great White Shark from Jaws. It's just a photo op, but can't get back there now. Almost looks like Shea Alcatraz is behind walls or closed right now, but I think it's just not open for the day yet because it is still kind of early. Sounds like they're moving around back there. They might be opening at noon. 
and it's only 11.45 now. Being that they still have the sign out, I'm assuming that it is still open today. So I wanna get on the train here, it's only a 15 minute wait, and head over to the other park. So over here next to King's Cross, they've got another merchandise location that has the Love is Universal merch. Those of you guys from the UK, is this what King's Cross looks like on the inside? How realistic is this? Do you guys know what song that was that he was playing on the violin? It sounded so familiar, but I couldn't quite place it. Leave me a comment down below if you guys know what it was. Well, we've made it over to Islands of Adventure. Let's see what we can see for Hagrid's roller coaster. The motorbikes will begin moving immediately. Clear the way. So this is interesting because they put up some scrim back here so that we can't look inside the ride until this gets uh, grown in. Also, the other thing that was interesting is when the train pulled in, it just went into Hagrid's hut here. It had a motorbike noise. It sounded amazing. But other than that one spot, all of the trees are grown in very thick so we can't see anything through this area right here. It is kind of interesting that all of the walls are down except for this one just right next to the entrance to Hogsmeade, at least all the walls back here. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It's kind of hard to hear over the music, but you can just barely hear the sound of a motorbike going Vroom. Man, I can't wait to ride this. Well, I thought the walls would be down. It looks like they're not. So definitely no soft openings today. Hopefully the walls will come down soon though. I think they're definitely getting ready for the grand opening. Got a lighting tower out here. A little theming around the base as well. I didn't notice these things before. I wonder if those are for the grand opening or if that's part of the theming of the roller coaster. I'm assuming grand opening. Maybe they'll put lights up there or some sort of effects or speakers or something. I don't know what they are, but there they are. I don't know if there's anything else that we can see from this vantage point of Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Let's go have a look at the Jurassic Park construction and then maybe we'll head back over and ride the Hogwarts Express back over, see if we can get a better view of Hagrid's from the entrance queue. Oh, well darn it. I thought for sure that this part, this bridge here was gonna be part of the ride. I guess it's not, it's just a regular old bridge. Still haven't really started working on the ride yet. Just a bridge. Shoot. However, that is a very impressive bridge that they can get that big backhoe on it. That's a heavy piece of equipment sitting on that bridge. So that last view is from behind Hogshead Pub. Now we're heading into Jurassic Park. Last time we were here, the walls were pushed way out. Everything was moved around and it looked totally different. Wonder if it looks the same now or if it looks totally different again. Maybe I would just wasn't paying close enough attention, but I don't think that I could see this much of the Hogwarts queue the last time we were in here. You can see the entire thing back there. So I know you can't see the sign, but this is the Discovery Center. I just wanted to be over here so that I could show you guys this wall is pushed way out. Oh, and you can see some construction equipment back there too. This used to be the, uh, there was like a little pond back here, a little seating area, a nice quiet area. Totally gone now. I also feel like we weren't able to see this far into Camp Jurassic last time. Like that waterfall right there? I don't think we could see that last time. Last time we didn't come this far in, I really don't think you could see Pterodon flyers before. Look at that. And from over here by the River Adventure entrance, you can see all the way back to the Discovery Center. Everything's gone back there. I can't wait till they start putting up whatever they're gonna put up. Shouldn't be much longer because it's all cleared out and ready to go. Well, we made it all the way to the end of the Jurassic Park area and we saw all of the construction walls and how much they've changed. Let's head back over to Hogsmeade and get on the train and see what else we can see of Hagrid's motorbike adventure. As we're making our way back to the train, Kind of got thinking as we pass by some snack stands, are there any iconic Universal Studios snacks? We're not gonna get them and blend them, but I was just kind of curious if there were any iconic snacks that you guys can think of. Leave me a comment down below. Like maybe Voodoo Donuts. I don't know. What do you, and like Butterbeer. Okay, so there are a few. Leave me a few more in the comments down below. Perfect, it looks like a nice short line at the Hogsmeade station for the Hogwarts Express. So we can definitely see the ride, but I don't see any trains running, at least not right now. Maybe they will be soon? I feel like I can hear ride noises happening, like in Hagrid's Hut, which is kind of like right there. 
but I don't see any trains going just yet. The last time that we were here and we actually saw it, it was running every like 20 seconds. So I don't think it's actually running right now. All right, let's get on the train. Ooh, they gave me my own cabin. It's like my own private ride on the Hogwarts Express. So we are on our way back over to Universal and then we're gonna get in the car and head over to Endless Summer. All right, we made it back over to Universal Studios. Let's just have a quick walk around before we head to the Endless Summer Resort. Hopefully it doesn't rain today. It kind of looks like it might. You never know. There's boots, tumble monkeys. They're getting ready to leave. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh wow, so many flips. Holy cow. Theme park duck doesn't know what to do. So many loud noises, he's not sure where to go. So before we leave, I did want to show you guys the old Terminator 2 building. Still don't know what's going on here. We know it's something, they are working on it. You can see some of the, I don't know what this would be considered construction materials. It's like insulation board in the windows there and tape hanging down. But we could see from like aerial shots and other things that they are building on the outside of the building. I don't know what it's gonna be yet though. All right, we are all done at Universal Studios. Let's get in the car and head over to Endless Summer. Get a look at the construction going on there and how far along they are. They're actually opening in less than a month. There it is, the Endless Summer Resort. This is the Surfside Inn section. And it looks like they are absolutely done. Like this, everything looks completely finished. I don't see any more construction going on. There's planting done. Looks like they're done. I'm gonna try to cross the street and have a little bit closer look. Well, it looks like the only thing they have left to do right here is add in the sign. You can see some of the electric there for it. But as far as the actual resort goes, it looks like it's very much done. Like I don't see anything else that needs to be, of course I can't see inside, but I don't see anything else that needs to be done. Yeah, it looks like everything is good to go. Looks like it's gonna be nice. This is a value resort. I think it's a good looking hotel. This is the Surfside section, which opens later this month, the 27th. And this is the Bayside section, which doesn't open for a little while. I don't have an exact date on that one. I think it's next year. Should be interested. I can't wait to see how they get people from here over to Universal, because Universal's kind of across the street, over on the other side of I-4. I did talk to some people that just walked here from there, but I don't think Universal wants giant groups of people walking back from Universal over here to this resort. So I'm interested to see how they handle that. Well, all in all, an excellent day at Universal. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff getting ready to open very soon. This being one, and then Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure being the other. I don't know, exciting time at Universal. I can't wait to see this one open and I can't wait to ride Hagrid. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. I'm I'm Anna. I'm Ashley. I'm more from Liverpool. And now it's time to pay.